The final mission, level 8. The most difficult course. Some panels are set up to shoot at you from behind. You have a 4.5 minute time limit. Complete the level to earn your flight badge. There we go. Flight badge is what we're going for. May the force be with you. The rear-facing ones are actually a lot easier. <laughs> Let's get that badge. This one's pretty tricky. Um, so I am going to... Link. Oh, double kill. Gonna link those firing things together, and I'm actually gonna recharge at full speed so that I'm able to recharge my shield. This is gonna take a little longer. Like, quite a bit longer. Because now I'm only going 75. But, hopefully I can stay alive. Because these turrets uh, shoot from a, a decent distance. Definitely don't want it. And there are the backwards facing ones. Which are <laughs> also going to be a problem if I don't take them out too soon. But it, it's, it's going to be a while before there are some backward facing ones. But, uh, yeah. So. Doing it for the badge. It'll be totally worth it. And if things get dicey, I might just switch to the mouse again. Because the accuracy with the mouse, for me, is, is much higher. And being able to take out these, these turrets early uh, might, might be the difference between life and death. You know, I, I would like to finish this and actually get on to the, the shooty shooty parts of the game. The main part of the game. But, uh, we'll see. And actually, after I finish this, there is one more part of the Proving Ground that I neglected to show. The, the kind of demo reel. So I, I will, I'll be showing that demo reel as well. Oh, no, maybe, there we go. And once again, one in the, the fill shields as much as possible. And these guys, I mean, they're, they're shooting from all the way across the platform. That's, I mean, oh, you're not dead. You're not dead. Here it is, the, the first backwards one. Luckily, the backwards ones, you can shoot. There it is. You can shoot through what looks like solid it's not it's only a hologram somehow though you do crash into it so I don't know how this works I think that the proving ground is some sort of holographic thing but your R2 immediately stops your your ship I, I don't know how <laughs> this is supposed to work canonically maybe the strategy guide shed some more light But I have no idea. It's been quite a while since I read the strategy guide. I do remember getting it from my local public library when I was a kid. Probably a teen. A young teen. Which is a, I, I believe that's when I played it. Okay. This is where things get really scary. Right about the halfway mark. Die, frame rate, die. Okay, I missed one. Missed one, which will shoot me from behind. But that's that's okay. Definitely don't want to be flying around with, with my shields to the back, not to the front. Gotta be careful. 
and I'm gonna rotate just to, just to get things going again. Missed that one. Missed it again. Oh boy. Just a few of them. So, yeah. Level 8 is, is pretty harrowing. And after that, the uh, it doesn't get any more difficult. I think you get a, a, a lesser time limit, and eventually you get to the point where it's actually impossible. It's kind of like the Donkey Kong kill screen. Where the game doesn't get harder, but it becomes impossible to win. Just because of the time limit. Okay, there's that one, that one. Alright, that's pretty good. There's one more. There we go. Ooh, got them all. So, so far, I think this, this has been going okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this level 8 run here. Can we bring it home? Is the only question, but I, I, I I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know, did I miss some there? Missed another one from behind, that's fine. I think, maybe, maybe not. I think I heard it shoot, but I didn't see a laser or get hit. So, perhaps not. Ooh, that could have been bad. Definitely don't want to hit the ground there. All of those. For some reason, I'm better at hitting the targets that I can't see than the targets that I can. I'm not sure what that means or why. But it appears to be a fact. For whatever strange reason. Alright, that's it. This is the end of the pilot proving ground. Time to move on to historical combat. We're done. This is Red Leader. Excellent. You're ready for combat. And, you know, whew, lots of lots of score there. So the one thing I did not show is once again like a, an attract mode, a demo or something, which see in just a moment. We gotta wait for R2 to go through the little thinger. And we got a flight badge, gotta check that out too. So it comes after the score. There you go. There you go. But that's not what we came here to see. This is it. The A-Wing Fighter. 120. MGLTs. The Incom T-65 X-Wing. One hundred MGLTs with a fifty shield, twenty hull strength. I don't remember the units. And here on the Y wing, also from Incom, low speed, but those shields, seventy-five hull, forty. Welcome to the Rebel Alliance Pilot Proving Ground. Here you will learn to fly the main three Alliance Star Fighters. The maze is designed to test your skill in maneuvering and firing at fixed targets. Scoring is based on speed and accuracy. Let's check out our new badge. Boarding gate 
Oh, look at that. The X-Wing flight badge. Great success. Up next, though, will be historical combat. But that's in the next video.